Hello everyone, my name is Andy and it's been eon since I've uploaded a video. Uh, obviously I've purchased and sold gear since we last spoke. Uh, but yeah, life, depression, I've moved. A lot going on. Uh, but yeah, just a lot less focus on gear. But this one's pretty exciting. So let's take a peek. <clears throat> so this, this is uh, brand new directly from JHS. This is one of those limited to a thousand, uh, well, why do they say Electric Mistress? They call it the Lizard Queen. Electric Mistress is something they just showed as an example of an old pedal. Basically, it's like a old school EHX style pedal built from the ground up with a JHS circuit. And it's an Octifuzz. And I ended up being a little bit of a bobo and tried to order two. And then as I did that, as I placed the second order, they're like, no, you can only have one. I'm like, oh, my bad. <clears throat> One thing that's kind of interesting, so 1,000 units, they said that 30 of them are going to be a different colorway instead of being kind of the old chrome with the, I don't know what they call it, water slide decal or stamp or whatever. Go watch the videos. There's some pretty interesting info about like how they did it and stuff like that. Uh, it's in conjunction with Ultra Harmonics, JHS Pedals, JHS Pedals, and then Daniel Danger, uh, who is a good friend of josh and the crew um but he's a graphic artist and loves not only electro harmonics pedals but um graphic design and printing and all sorts of stuff like that so anyway so most of them are going to be silver there's 30 of them that have a black background kind of the opposite sort of thing <clears throat> i placed two orders they're about call it 200 units from each other they canceled the first one so i'm really curious in the off chance that they knew that this was the special one, uh, so they canceled the other one. But I have my doubts, because 30 out of 1,000 is a very small number. Oh, it's upside down. So they've got it in a very old school style. Like, they, they went all out with the vibes. I'll let you read the back of the box there. Feel free to pause it. I'm not going to read you the whole thing. But they did want everybody to open it up. Come on, baby. Nope, that's okay. Looking good though. Oh, that is sweet. So I've got I've got a big muff. I'm, oh, okay. All right. But here's here's the totally dope thing. So so this is for oh yeah. Welcome to 1975. So again, they went all out on just all the cool little pieces. Old school manual, old school vibe. I believe these are 100% made up, but like old ads. <clears throat> and since my last name's on my channel, it doesn't matter. Uh, they actually went, whoever did it, went and hand wrote my name and whoever else's name. And did a receipt, which is pretty cool. And <laughs> I'm guessing that's 1975 pricing for 30 or 40 bucks. <laughs> Wow. Now, again, it's a JHS creation alongside Electro Harmonics, but these are stamped just as Electro Harmonics. They do have a non-limited run that's small. Um, that's an EHX pedal, but it says JHS. Now, I just saw a sticker on the bottom. Also, there's a switch here. It says off. Oh, so I guess that's kind of old school. Wait, what? Can I not power this with batteries? For warranty and support, visit jhspedals.com. Do what the... Oh, and it's so old school. There's no power light. There's no indicator. Which is kind of cool. So an on-off switch. So wait a second here. Oh, number 968 out of 1,000. Okay, one, sick that they hand-numbered it like that. I, of course, am more curious now what my <clears throat> other order would have looked like. But my question is... So they really want us to... Well, one, they want us to see the inside and enjoy it and the board and all that. But I have to take these four screws off and put a battery in there. I'm a little disappointed by that, but again... They're going all out with 
the old school vibe, so I guess it's necessary. So let's get into it. So here's everything. Um, we'll open it up in a minute here. But I just wanted to get a shot of the inside of the manual so you can pause that and take a look. I did already register it. Um, something that I just thought of. Um, perhaps my first order was the uh, the black colorway, and because I was indirectly a Bobo. Oh, you know what's funny? So that almost looks like what it would be. So instead of silver, the background is black. So from this angle, it almost looks like that, but it is not. So my intention was not to be a Bobo. My intention was to leave one sealed, maybe one day. You know, either flip or sell it for more, but then use one. But I'm happy to use this one. But again, there is a another small one for only 99 bucks, which is totally killer in this market. Um, that's a mass-produced one. Still called the Lizard Queen. It still says EHX on it. Uh, I believe JHS is labeled underneath. But this, they wanted to keep as true to EHX form as they could. Um, and again, that includes the lack of option to use a power supply which again objectively i'm not into but i get why they did it but what you'll see nothing's perfect right see a little gap i can just fish a cable out of there if i really wanted to power it i did move this sticker probably voids my warranty but if i do put it on a board then i can velcro in the proper areas obviously not obstructing the serial number either um so what is it so volume is volume balance kind of changes the quality or the not quality the tone between shadow and sun smoother sustaining big muff on the shadow side and raspy biting gated fuzz on the sun side which i'm excited about and it'll change a bunch depending on the octave level Octave, how much you octave up blend in. So it can just be a fuzz pedal with the character, or you can blend this in. These are really smooth. This is awesome. This feels amazing. So I need to find a screwdriver. Okay, screws on and screws off. Um, guess we'll see what the. Okay, I assumed this could just lift off. Oh. Now, here's my favorite part. This freaking circuit board that they did. <laughs> the style of it is so darn cool. Oh, wow. Okay. DDX JHS. Dingy Danger and JHS. Blah, JHS. <gasps> okay, one. Of course they included a battery. Two. Look at that. Oh man, super heavy duty EH battery with Mike Matthews on it. So now of course my question is, okay, do I put in a different battery or do I use the real battery as it was intended? <laughs> oh, that is so damn cool. It makes me think of like uh, Jurassic Park, if that makes sense. Spared no expense. Like they did not fart around with this, with all the details and whatnot. Okay, now I just want to, sorry Mike, now I, now I went and screwed all this up by taking the damn battery out. Hold, okay, back in the box. Now, now I feel foolish because of course they included a battery, but anyway, how freaking cool is that? On top of how freaking cool is the etching of this board? Oh, and it even says EH down there, Electromonics. Little pots. On off. So it is cool that there's an on off switch. You can leave it plugged in and switch it to off so it doesn't drain the battery, which is stated in the manual. So let's put this thing back together. That was a fun little adventure. Plug this SOB in. Okay, we are plugged into my Rev D20, uh, which the 212 is now, is currently my TV stand in my new place. <laughs> High quality stuff. Uh, looks like, so I, again, no light indicator. But we'll switch that to on. And I'm gonna plug into. What am I gonna plug into? Ah, 
a strap. Let's they are have running here. Okay. Tuning. Okay. Uh, SSS style guitar. It's going to continue to be fuzzy. You're just changing the character of it. Again, they said that this is going to be way more relevant. Maybe, not, I don't know if relevant is the word, but different with the octave. So let's go back to the middle there. <laughs> So yeah, it just changes completely blending in the octave there. changing that like yeah it's not as spitty for sure whoa listen to that though But sounds cool. 
Jeez. So the uh, because the character changes so much over here, there's legitimately a volume drop. <laughs> I've been on the bridge single coil this whole time. sure it's based off of something else but I, I like monkeying with that riff or idea <laughs> super fun that's super cool i'm actually a big fan of the lack of fuzz control it's still really simple it's three knobs but there's obviously an insane amount of tonal possibility and that's all with single coils which is not really my preference but i am absolutely in love with this guitar so it's been something i've wanted to monkey with or that i have monkeyed with for a while I was going to say, you've got noise. You can hear it. Cool. So, yeah, again, that kind of lends itself to that idea of it being like less gainy or smoother. Big muff. So, I'm sure I've just destroyed the microphone on my. Uh, phone, but anyway, thanks for hanging out. If you've hung out this long, I appreciate you very much. Consider liking, commenting, subscribing. I really want to get back into making more stuff, but I'm also trying to quit buying so much gear. So, anyway, thanks a lot. Bye bye.